what is test implementation right so test implementation is nothing but it is in test implementation test cases are grouped into test suites okay and ordered into a proper sequence now not necessarily whatever test conditions or scenarios you have written right so for example you have identified a test condition now that condition will test in a very specific part of that particular module okay now in order to test a logical sequence or the business flow you need to make sure that the test cases are grouped into or a sequence is made so for example login test case will enable you to log in and then after logging say for example you are trying to test the cart right so what is the precondition what what steps you need to follow you need to first log in and then you need to add the items into the cart you need to follow steps to add the items into the cart in an e-commerce website so in the test implementation you come up with that logical test suite and then you also formulate a proper sequence for example you for a functional testing what sort of suite you are going to cover what for regression testing what you are going to do okay so all of that is going to be part of the implementation so if you have written all the relevant test cases then you add those into different test suites okay you create a test suite or basically a set and within that you add that yes these are the test cases that we are going to execute at, as part of the regression cycle right so all of that activity comes into the implementation in the implementation you specify a test procedure okay and test procedure is nothing but a document which specifies the steps to be taken in running set of test cases okay so test procedure as procedure word itself is there so what process of procedure you are going to follow in order to run a particular business test okay for example login is an individual module test right but in order to test the whole flow there will be a completely complete procedure right so in order to test adding item to the cart or removing item to the cart you need a combination of multiple test cases right so you need to have a procedure of the test cases and that is also what you basically do and mostly you don't go into that sort of detailed uh, documentation creating those word documents as such in the test procedure basically say for example your scenario itself will contain the link to the test cases that you are going to execute as part of that particular procedure or scenario okay the next thing that you do in the test implementation is who in your team is going to execute what test cases right so even the schedule is being identified when the test execution is going to start and who is going to execute what test cases in your testing team all of that is also part of the test implementation right so as i explained previously in the whole process all three steps are very very important and test implementation is more of grouping things together grouping test cases together uh, forming the test suite forming the overall scenario uh, combining the test cases together to formulate a, a complete business flow to, or testing the business flow and then also identifying the execution schedule and who is going to execute those test cases right <music>